Yo, what is up, guys? Hey, uh, recently, um, one of my viewers on YouTube had asked me, "Hey, man, like, how? Do, what are some tips and tricks against like capping versus like paladins and mages and whatnot?" And although they're they're like probably like one of the hardest classes that you can cap against, like such as like paladin and whatnot, because of bubble bop and stuff. The best thing that you could do in that scenario versus like a paladin is when you're capping. Or let's say you sap him and then start capping. He's gonna probably bubble the first one, right? And if or trinket or whatever, it, it honestly doesn't matter what he does does first. But if you can try and get a restealth without vanishing, you're good, right? You you have the advantage at that point. Um, so then you just wait out the sap dr, okay? And then you sap him again. He trinkets and then you blind, and you start capping. Um, at that point, the only thing he has left to do is like bubble. Because he might like bop the first one, or he might bubble the first one. It kind of just depends. Um, on a rare occasion, if you guys get the chance, you can shadowy duel bop um, versus a paladin, and you can still click the flag, and they can't. It's kind of it's like a weird thing, right? It's like when you do shadowy duel a paladin with bop, it puts you in your own little realm. And you can click the flag and it and it goes like they can't stop it because they they put the yellow shit on the ground like the I don't even know what it's called but they put it down on the ground and they can't spin you um, they actually they actually have to hit you so I've seen that happen before kind of interesting I've yet to do it but I, I would like to get a video of that it's kind of cool um, versus like mages at that point man it's and especially like a frost mage because they can double ice block and trinket it's kind of like the same and they have a pet right so your best bet against like a frost mage is to either do a shit ton of damage and kill him right so like i i, I bet this happens at lower mmr right a lot of mages will actually cast blizzard on the node and it's like for what reason dude like it's useless if you see a mage doing that on your own team like you tell them stop because that shit is useless um it is so bad and the reason being is because it gaps every single time so it doesn't even matter that they cast it um but if you see them casting kick them on frost right so when they're casting blizzard you kick them and just full fucking send it man and you have like three seconds to kill them <laughs> i've done that before it's just funny as shit because they're just panicking because everything's locked out because they're just frost right um when you're capping it versus like a druid the so it's kind of weird so what i like to do personally when i'm like first capping is i don't like dropping smoke bomb um because it drops trends and i, I hate dealing with trends because they kind of last a while what i like to do is i just like to cap normally okay and they're gonna hit you and you know where they are okay at that point you can go blind them, sprint back, maybe soul shape back, and start capping, and maybe get their trinket. Or what I like to do, like most of the time, like you'll probably see me do like 99% of the time, is I actually press cloak of shadows, right? As I'm coming out of stealth, I'll cloak of shadows cap, okay? That means they have to come in, it's kind of like a weird timing thing, okay? Because let's, so cap, as you guys can see in the bottom right, it lasts for five seconds. Okay, and capping a base is six seconds. Um, yeah, six seconds. Okay. Let's say they were to like they're panicking and they're spamming Moonfire on you to stop the cap. If they were to cast like Moonfire at like 4.9 seconds of your Cloak of Shadows, and maybe not, and then they they realize hey it's not working, and then they panic. You might be able to get the cap just by Cloak of Shadows, right? Or what they'll do is that they see that you're cloaked and they'll run up to you like right next to you and like swipe you as like feral or whatever at that point all you need to do is mark for death kidney shot if they're and they're like right next to the flag okay run away a little bit maybe like five ten meters away and as the kidney shot is coming or is about to fall off drop a smoke bomb stealth sap them cap trinket blind okay and what the smoke bomb does is that 
when you drop the box and their kidney's like falling off, they're like, oh, I can just dot this guy, right? Or before you drop the box and kidney's falling off, they're like, oh, I can just, I can just, I can just hit this guy easily, right? I can just catch him out of stealth. They're not thinking about getting a re-stealth after that kidney. Their mindset is to, is to just hit you right after the kidney falls off. But when you drop the smoke bomb, like, I don't know, maybe, maybe like 0.5 seconds left of the kidney shot, right? They're, they're panicking. Or they're not even panicking at that point. They might be like, oh, this is free. Like, I'll still hit them. Or it's just the last thing on their mind is like, I'm going to re-stealth. Like, I don't know why. It's just so easy. And at that point, when you drop smoke bomb, after a six point or a five point or six second kidney, I mean, after a six second kidney, you can just sap them. They trink it. You bind and you get it. Druids are fucking easy at cap against. It's insanely easy. Unless, unless they're like super, super, super good. Um, then that, it's a pain in the ass. Um, but versus rogues, it's it's a little bit of a, a different story, right? So most of the time, let's say that let's say that this is the flag that I want to be capping. Okay. Um, hey, Leo. I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend like this little this dual flag is uh, a node, and I want you to like stop me. And what I'm explaining is that usually when I defend a node versus a rogue, or not defend, when I'm attacking a node versus a rogue, the first thing I'll do, like every single time, is trinket, fan of knives, blind, right? But every time that they, uh, every time you get blind off and you start capping, they have to trinket without a doubt. And the best thing you can do, which it's RNG, right? But y you can get it, is when they trinket shadow step or mark for death shadow step kidney uh and just full fucking send it on them right and just take them out so i'll try and do something right here so let's pretend like i'm capping this base um leo has to stop me i trinket fan of knives and i'm capping the base he trinkets and then i'll just mark for death kidney him maybe even vanish so i can get that big fucking damage you know boom grab his body start capping the node super easy um and the cool thing about rogues now i'm gonna switch over to like being like a defensive um like let's say i'm defending a node okay so let's say i'm doing the same exact thing but leo's attacking my base okay i'm gonna i'm gonna leo i'm gonna do the same exact thing to you so let's say you're capping i'm gonna blind you trinket and all right i'm gonna sap you i want you to trinket fan and try and get me out okay i use i use trinket on the blind oh of course of course um course so let me just explain what a lot of at least what i do versus a rogue so when they fan of knives your sap has a 10 yard radius and a lot of people don't use that to advantage so what i like to do when i go to stop a rogue from capping a base is i'll actually shadow step use my speed and sap them as i'm like sprinting away and i'm already here Right, so let's just wait for the sap to fall off. Uh, don't move Leo and just fan of knives. Right, if Leo had trinket there, or if this was like a real scenario, and he trinkets fan of knives, like uh, the sap, like I just did before, he's not gonna get me, right? Because the way I positioned myself when I had sapped him, which is I'm shadow stepping, jumping, and I'm all the way over here. Uh, you want to take advantage of using that sap range um, when it comes to when it comes to defending a node versus a rogue, right? All right, I'm gonna switch over to uh, I'm gonna death myself, Leo. I'm gonna switch over to paint. Uh, I'm a, I'm a fucking paint, man, because it's kind of hard to explain without maybe like a I don't know a picture or something. Okay, so when you're defending a node, okay. Let's say that this bracket uh, signifies, let's, let's actually copy that, one second. Let's say that this bracket right here signifies the amount of time that it takes to cap a base, okay? And this time right here, here we'll even label them so you guys don't forget, uh, time to, or er, 
time, I don't even know how to say it, we'll just say time to cap equals six seconds. Um, sap equals seven seconds, um, four, and then like, what is it, three? It's something like that, I think it's two. It cuts it in half each time, right? So when somebody's capping, you want to use as much time as you can in between sapping, okay? So let's just say rope comes up to my base and I immediately call it at uh, at this point right here. Like the, the cap starts and I'm like, oh shit, there's a rope here. Okay, let's say that's like one second. So then my team has to start rotating to help me out, right? I won't sap him until this point right here. So let's just say that that is five, okay? So now that's at five, and then I sap him, okay? That's a bad line, that's a weird line. So then he sits, seven, he sits a seven second sap. Two things is gonna happen. He's gonna continue to cap, right? Where I will sap him at this point again, right? So that's five plus seven. Okay, so now we're at 12 seconds that one of my teammates has to rotate. So then I'm going to sap him again. And that's going to be what, like four seconds. So we'll put like a line here. Okay, but each time you, you sap, you want to be sapping on this line right here, about five seconds. Okay, on that line. And then the next sap is going to be like right here. But all of these times, including this one, including the time to cap, it adds up. Okay. And what you're wanting to do is just adding up that time before you have to blind, um, before you have to open, anything. You want to stay in stealth as long as you can. And that goes for, like, it doesn't matter how many fucking people there are. You want to stay in stealth as long as you can. So let's say there's two classes. Let's say there's a druid and a rogue, right? Rogue drops smoke bomb um, on the druid. The druid starts capping. You want to get in there. It's a little hard, right? The number one thing to do, though, is just don't panic, okay? You want to get into the smoke bomb and try and sap the druid. If you get caught out, 10 out of 10, I would just vanish so you can get those saps going, okay? If you're running out of saps, okay, like you have no sap, uh, everything, you're, you know, sap DR, uh, you blinded, that's the R. If you have literally nothing left, you want to waste your last sap, okay, two seconds. You want to waste that last sap and cheap shot the other guy, okay? And then when, this, when, the, when the sap is falling off, maybe throw a kidney shot, uh, another cheap shot on the other guy. And at the last resort, you want to shadowy duel the druid, okay? Because if you shadowy duel the rogue... He can blind you, he can uh, kidney you, and he can, you know, he can hold the base, right? But with a druid, all you have to watch out for is, like, clone, and, I mean, you can cloak a shadow as that if, if you're not comfortable with, like, kicking it and whatnot. Um, and while you're in the shadow duel, you want to be spamming fan of knives on top of the flag just in case that rogue is um, trying to cap it while you're in shadow duel. And when you come out of duel... Maybe you can um, kidney again on one of the targets. Maybe you didn't stun them all the way. Like, you just want to kill as much time as possible, okay? Um, but, yeah, I mean, that that's about it, honestly. Like, And you, can, you guys can go to my videos, and you guys can see, like, everything that I do every single time when it comes to capping a base, right? I mean, everything I talked about, whether it's uh, kidney sh or getting a trinket from a paladin into, like, the duel or sapping his trinket it, it, it just doesn't matter right i have so many videos on all of that um and if you guys want like actual videos i mean i can make maybe i can make like a compilation of like me like me breaking them down and whatnot if that would help you guys better but um what i have here i mean i i hope i broke everything down as good as i could for you guys and i hope it helps with your upcoming um games but yeah thank you guys very much for watching and i greatly appreciate your guys' support it's so awesome but thank you guys. Have a good night.